share with you today something special that happened to me the other day. Um, I was out with my family enjoying the day and we stopped by this little chocolate festival and there was a table with a raffle and they had all these beautiful baskets like this and so we decided to buy some tickets for the raffle and as you can see I am now home with a prize because we won one of the raffle prizes and I think I figured out a little hack on how to always win a raffle prize if there's something that you really want to take home if you are entering a raffle. There are two tricks that I have found work every time. Um, maybe there's been a little element of luck, but I think for the most part, it's just smart and it works and I'm going to share that with you today and then we can open up this beauty and see what is inside this rebel prize. Okay. So the first thing you need to do is buy the raffle tickets. Now you need to buy more than one ticket, okay? because buying just one ticket, well, that little raffle ticket is just going to get lost in the bag and your odds will be very low of winning. It is possible, but low odds. So what you want to do is buy as many raffle tickets as you feel comfortable buying. Don't ruin your bank account over it, of course buy whatever is in your budget. And if that is just one, then that's fine. Usually we will purchase like 20, and if it's like, you know, a local raffle, it's usually not too much money involved. So the next thing is, you don't want to drop a ticket into every little box because or bag or whatever they have collecting the, the raffle tickets. You don't want to do that because each ticket will get lost in that bag and there will be a very low chance of winning. So what you want to do is pick the raffle prize that you want to win the most and put all of your tickets in that one box. Just rain them down into the box or the bag that has all the tickets. So they're all there one pile. Now the next trick, and this is of course only if you can because you're not going to stay in the raffle area all day just so you can win the prize because it's probably not that important unless it is that important, and then you can stay there all day. But the later in the day you can place your raffle tickets in the bag, the better, because you want them all laying on the top area. And then of course, gravity, some will sprinkle down and just drop them in the center of the bag. Because what will happen is at the end of the day, when nobody's there, whoever's taking the tickets out of the raffle, they're not sitting there shaking it up, first of all. They're only doing, they only shake it up if they pull the raffle in front of you. And if that's the case, you might be out of luck. But usually, at the end of the day, when the festival or whatever you add is done, who's ever working in the raffle area will stick their hand right in there. They're not thinking about it so hard. And they're going to pull the raffle ticket out. And then they're going to pull your raffle because it's going to be all your tickets there. 
you know, just laying right on top and a couple is sprinkled down in the center due to gravity. So just due to law of physics, you're probably going to win that raffle if you follow my hack. Give it a try at your next raffle and let me know how it goes. Chances are that you will win. So good luck to you guys the next time you want to win a prize. Okay, so I just want to take a sip of my coffee here before we go on. because it's actually early in the morning and oh I hear the brain I don't know if it's picking up on camera but uh it's starting to rain outside I just love the rain I find it very relaxing especially when I'm home and I feel like I have nothing to do but make videos the rain makes me feel so cozy okay so your cocoa inside and then you pour it <laughs> and then you drink it up and then you refill it and then you drink that up and then you get a go geek <laughs> okay is now that I can't hide behind them, right? I'm a terrible nail biter. And uh, I think that's due to just like anxiety. But uh, I have like developed a really bad allergy to a bunch of different things. So I'm allergic to the nails. I'm allergic to the glue. I can't wear nail polish. So yeah, this is what you get, guys. Please don't Everyone 
so perfect and beautiful all the time in these videos and I just don't think that should be necessary. So allow me just to be myself and uh, you all will be much better for all this. Anyway, back to the good stuff. So they put in a couple of candy canes. We take it on. Has the same Christmas wreath around it with a little house again and I'll show you a close up of that. There it is and then we've got some Christmas tree on the bottom. Very, very festive. Very festive. So cute. Okay gonna put that down and see what else we've got in this bag. Oh, how cute is this? Look at that. It's like a little snowman thingamajiggy and it has like a candy cane handle. How cute is that? So it looks like a container. It's taped down so I'm just gonna take the table and look at the little hat, little top hat. I'll take that off. I am totally putting my hot cocoa in that mug. So good. Perfect, perfect. I'm actually going to put that right there. Because when I am done with this video, guess what I'm going to make? <laughs> you guessed it. I'm going to make myself a cup of Swiss Miss hot cocoa. So good. Oh my god, I'm so excited. I'm telling you, it doesn't take much to make my day. It does not. It totally takes. <laughs> okay. And let's see what else we have in this bag. I'm going to save this little thing for last. I'll show you that. After, let's see, we've got something large here. Whoa, it is like a snowman. Wait, let me just make some room here. Snowman jar. Look at that. He's 
holding a sleigh. <laughs> That's so cute. And there's snowflakes all around. And he's got his hat on and his little carrot nose with his earmuffs and a red scarf. And I'll just bring my knees up there. Okay. This little tape here. Get that off. I'm just gonna put that to the side for now. Oh, this, they taped it everywhere. I guess they didn't want the glass to break off and break. <sighs> Makes sense. All right. Oh, I'm gonna just show you the sides. The sides are just, uh, more snowflakes, and then on this side, he's holding a little wreath. That's adorable. So we've got the snowman holding a wreath on this side, and the snowman holding the sleigh on this side. <laughs> and I'm just gonna open all oh, this some more tape. I really tape everything. This reminds me of like when you buy like a toy for your kid and they like package it up so much that like you need to be an engineer to like take the toy out of the packaging <laughs> sometimes. It used to not always be that way but I guess nowadays they have to do that. Okay so oh it's a little loud. And it's just empty storage inside. So I'm thinking like, I am going to bake a batch of like really delicious sugar cookies and like decorate them to make them kind of festive for the holidays. I'm not an amazing baker and I'm a little bit sloppy about it, <laughs> but I do like to do it. So maybe in time I'll get better. And maybe I'll do a little video baking sugar cookies and using this um, jar here. It's quite large, so fit a lot of cookies. I don't know if my family, we're, we're just a family of three, I don't know if we can actually eat a jar full of cookies this big, but we can try. <laughs> All right, let's see. move some things aside and there is one last uh prize in this little rebel um basket so i'm going to show that to you and we have here okay, i'm just taking more tape off of it before i show you it's coming so all righty here goes it is, can you see? It is a Starbucks gift card. Starbucks gift card. That's perfect because my daughter just had her first Starbucks drink with oat milk, not real milk, because we don't My daughter just had her first Starbucks and she loved it. She got a caramel mochaccino and she had it with oat milk instead of regular milk because she doesn't really drink regular milk. And she's going to be so excited to have this gift card. It's very cute. Let's see a close up. Let's see. Let's see. Okay. It says Starbucks Rewards. Register this gift card at Starbucks.com Rewards to earn stars faster. Okay. I'm confused. Is this not a gift card? Maybe it's just a reward card? I don't know. There's no, it doesn't say like how much is on it. Yeah, it is a gift card. Because on here it says to and from and how much. But 
they didn't fill out the how much. Hmm. Interesting. Anyway, it says, treat this card like cash. I will do that. And I can't wait to go to Starbucks and get my daughter a beautiful drink. I hope that they have um, the peppermint ones. Mm, the peppermint frappuccinos. It's so good. Oh, she hasn't tried that one yet. I know she's going to love it because she and I both love peppermint. So, yes, that's the gift card. So, guys, I just want to move closer to the mic. I'm going to turn this camera a little bit. I have the mic stacked up here on a bunch of um, boxes so I don't have to hunch over. Um, you guys know I like to talk. over this way as I conclude this video. So I just want to thank you guys for joining me. I love feedback so if you can let me know what kind of videos you're liking. Do you like the whisper? Do you like the soft spoken like I'm doing today? Um, do you like the vlogs type, video, type videos where I'm like walking around I'm thinking about going into different towns and making videos like that, um, show and tells. I am trying to steer away from the magazine clips only because my fingernails, I just can't wear those nails anymore and they're not as exciting to me and I just feel like there is an oversaturation of that clips right now and I am trying to do something a little bit more unique and original just create my own vibe, my own rules, whatever. So I'm just to veer off a little bit because there's so much of the same thing I'm on YouTube right now. And I want to give you guys something fresh and a little bit new. So I hope you enjoyed this video and the little show and tell. I hope that this was light and fun and lifted your spirits a little bit. I hope that you're relaxed. I hope you feel good. I love you guys all. I am here for you. And I hope you have a wonderful rest of your night or day, wherever you are. So, bye-bye to you. Bye-bye, guys.